The Hawaii Tracker Hawaii Pod back at Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Mm. It's been a minute, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Wow. Thank you all so much for joining we us. We have happy a happy to be back. We are happy to be back. <laughs> we have a really cool show tonight. All of you know that all the telescopes that are on Mauna Kea tonight, the presentation is from Kumiko Sato. She is a scientist and she's going to take us on a virtual tour of the Subaru telescope that's put up there from Japan. It's an amazing place. Mauna Kea is so high up there. It's got great visibility. This, everybody from all over the world comes here and checks it out. It's going to be a great show. We start a little bit early to say hi. Mm -hmm. It's been a little bit since we've been back up here. We've been extremely busy. We appreciate you all hanging with us and enjoying everything else that we've been doing. Uh, Kilauea is paused right now. We just passed last Thursday. If you watch Hawaii Pod, they mentioned that we just crossed the one month. Yeah, over 30 days now that they're... That's been a pause. It's been completely paused. Yep. Well, we're just in a little holding period. We have the schedule for all the after dark in the park at, um, presentation. So we'll be up here on Tuesdays or any other day of an event that is pretty interesting for you all to check out. Thank you all for hanging with us. Again, we're Lou and Anna, Two Pineapples. We're working in collaboration with Hawaii Tracker and Hawaii Pod like we always do. You, go, you know that. And we thank Hawaii Volcanoes National Park for allowing us to be in here, bring this all to you. Do you have anything else? Did I forget anything? No. I'm not, I'm not going to go into too much of what the presentation is about. It's a telescope on a giant mountain in great visibility. Let's enjoy the show. We started a little bit early, so I'm going to put the timer on, let it click down, and uh, give everybody a few minutes to check in. Make sure you hit that thumbs up, and uh, enjoy.
just about ready to get going here. Here we go. All right, aloha kako. Aloha. Welcome to the Hawaii Volcanoes National Parks After Dark in the Park program. I'm really excited about tonight. Uh, this is something we have been wanting to do for a really long time. Uh, for those of you who are park visitors, maybe you didn't know about After Dark in the Park program, you were just saying, hey, we got an opportunity to do something. Well, if you grew up here on the island, you knew there was this awesome Kamaaina tour that they would allow you to go into the Subaru telescope up on Mauna Kea, one of the absolute forefronts of discovery. And for local people, this was really great. Subaru also had this great outreach program into our local communities through the schools, uh, helping teach young kids about science and technology, many Native Hawaiian kids. So that was wonderful. Well, for a variety of reasons, they discontinued that last September. But um, I love the fact that astronomer, Dr. Kumiko Usuda Sato, um, they're doing a virtual visit now where they bring the telescope to you. So we're going to get a chance to see what's going on in Subaru up on Mauna Kea. And we'll be doing a virtual visit through the scope. She's brought the ocul Oculus, did I say that? Oculus. Oculus device. And one lucky person here will get to put it on. And we're all going to see what you're seeing as you walk around and stumble into seats and fall over things. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. Um, so our guest speaker tonight, astronomer Kubiko Ustura Sato, she is a doctor. She's going to take us on that virtual visit through the telescope, highlight discoveries, and share how the Subaru staff continues to engage the local community while embracing Native Hawaiian host culture. At the end of the program, we'll uh, try to get a chance for question and answer, if that sounds great to you guys. Yeah. Good? Yeah. All right, you guys see the audience that you're looking around at right here? Apparently, there's an extremely large audience that way. So they're live streaming the video tonight. Um, many of these live streams, we've had well over a thousand people on the live stream. So I was just to put the pressure on. Does that make you feel? <laughs> I don't know. She may be selling T-shirts by the end of this. All right. Without further ado, Dr. Kubiko. Okay. Thank you so much. Tokyo and give presentation 
because the star shape is gonna be blurry. So sometimes we send telescope into space because in space, outer space, there's no air. Stars don't twinkle. <laughs> and the star shape is always circle, star shape. So the star shape is circle. This is very, very important for astronomers. <laughs> By the way, mountain here, very high mountain, air is very thin. Stars do not twinkle so much. That's why. <laughs> and air atmosphere is very stable, and in astronomical term, we have good seeing of stars. That's why we build our own telescope on Mount Akira. And so this is the mirror size of telescopes on Mount Akira. So they are all optical and infrared telescopes. And we do not include radio telescopes. So this is our mirror size of the solar telescope. The diameter of the solar telescope is 8.2 meter or 27 feet. And uh, our neighbor, Gemini, has 8.1 Bigger than the telescope, all same size. And K has bigger telescope, but this is not monolithic mirror. This is the combination of hexagonal segments. So uh, the later telescope we create bigger mirror. Because if we have bigger mirror, we have two good things. Number one, bigger mirror is a kind of bigger eye. So we stick a mirror. We can see, we can resolve small things. So, and other thing, bigger mirror has wider area. We can collect more light. That's why with bigger mirror, we can see faint things. That's why we build bigger and bigger and bigger telescope with bigger mirror to collect more light, to see faint things, and to resolve small things. And this is our super telescope, Japanese telescope of Mount Akira. So this is a silver cylindrical dome. We have the telescope itself. We started observation in 1999, more than 23, more than 23 years. And uh, our telescope mirror is over here. And uh, we have very special camera called High Flash Prime Cam, HSC, at the top of the telescope. Our uh, the model of uh, solar telescope, and this is HSC, High Flash Prime Cup. This is a giant telescope at the top of our telescope. Look, this is HSC, High Flash Prime Cup, mounted on the solar telescope. Let's compare the adult side. Almost as high as an adult, and its weight is three tons, very heavy. So, but the star has very strong. Uh, holes, so we can mount the very heavy three-tone camera. And the good thing of HSC is it has very wide field of view. It covers nine full moons. I will show you how large the HSC's field of view is. So this is uh, Andromeda Galaxy. You may know we live in a galaxy. Do you know the name of our galaxy? Thank you so much. Yes, Milky Way. We live in the Milky Way galaxy. And Andromeda galaxy is our neighbor. Actually, 2.5 million light years away, but the nearest big spiral galaxy. So, this one, the field of view is 1.5 degree, and HSC can take this Andromeda galaxy picture just one field of view. So, Let's compare the full moon side. So, full moon is about zero, half degree. So we can have three full moons over here. So this is a very big compared to the other giant telescopes. And let's compare other field of view of camera. You may know Hubble Space Telescope is very famous space telescope. HST, Hubble Space, Hubble space Telescope has Wide field camera, but its wide field camera is much, much narrower than our HSC's field of view. And you may know the very recent space telescope, James Webb Space Telescope. JWST provides us beautiful, beautiful pictures 
and it has a little bit wider, but still narrow compared to the sky. So you may know our telescope has a great advantage. Uh, so we have very field of view camera. So using this advantage of wide field of view, Subaru telescope has many discoveries. For example, the red one is a uh, Subaru scientist drew, drew uh, created an uh, unprecedentedly wide and sharp dark matter map. You, you, may, you may know dark matter, different from ordinary matter, like our, that's create our body or uh, many things. Dark matter, we don't see. It. Dark matter does not any light, any electromagnetic waves. But we know dark matter exists, but it has mass. So using the some gravitational lensing effect, some astronomical uh, technique, we can draw a very wide map of dark matter to know its distribution. The right one is Jupiter's moon. This is Jupiter, and Jupiter, a uh, super scientist, discovered 12, 12 new Jovian moons. Uh, this is very new discovery of a uh, super telescope, and thanks to these two new, two, uh, 12 new Jovian moons, Jupiter became the uh, planet with most moons. Before, Saturn was the uh, planet of the solar system with most moons because uh, a couple of years ago, using HSC hyperstrand camp, solar scientists discovered 20 Saturn moons. So Saturn became the most uh, planet with most moons, but now Ju Jupiter became the planet with most moons. All right, so now I move to today's topic. Super Telescope 3D Virtual Tour Project. Actually, this project was initiated by my colleague in Mitaka headquarters, Shimakawa, -san, Dr. Shimakawa. And this virtual tour project was done with collaboration with the University of Electro Communication, UEC. This university is very close to our Mitaka headquarters of NOJ. So we collaborate sometimes. And uh, when Shimakawa -san uh, supervised a uh, UEC graduate student. The so one is Miyakami-san and that is Murakami-san. Two graduate students were supervised by Shimakawa-san. And uh, Miyakami-san's Miyaka major was virtual reality. That's why we asked him to create a spiral telescope virtual, with a virtual reality. Because now, due to the many circumstances, it is very challenging for us to bring many people to the summit. So now, instead of go to the summit area physically, we provide the virtual tour anywhere, from anywhere, any anytime, as you like. And we also uh, work with Matapop. Matapop is a company of 3D virtual camera. So, um, Actually, Macapo is so how to fill the virtual tour, virtual content with their camera. But very unfortunately, this special camera of Macapo requires Wi-Fi. But at the summit of Mount Matia, we have some radio telescope. So Wi-Fi is not, we cannot use Wi-Fi. That's why we gave up to use this special <laughs> camera. Instead of Matapo special camera, we use iPhone 14 with later. So, uh, so using this iPhone camera, we uh, we uh, film many many places inside of the Spiral Desktop Dome. So last year in September. Uh, Shimakawa-san, Miyakami-san, and myself went to the summit area and well, one by one. <laughs> it took, uh, we spent two full days. Okay. Before we start virtual tour, I'd like to explain the structure of the Spark Telescope. Spark Telescope is very special telescope compared to other 8 
to 10 meter telescope because we use four foci. Four foci, but focus is the point. Uh, light gathered in a point, and when we place the camera or spectrograph, we can take a picture or we can get spectra. So when the light from uh, out of space, it hit or 8.2 meter or 20 feet, 27 feet primary mirror, the light reflect here and gather over here. We call this focus, prime focus, because the light gather for the first time over here. So if we place HSC hyperspectral, we can take very wide picture over here. Instead of HSC, we place the secondary mirror, the light reflect here and go to the bottom of the telescope. And uh, this focus we call Cassegrain focus. It is the uh, it is on the first floor. It is very accessible uh, focus. We have two more focus. We call Nasmus focus. If we put a uh, tertiary mirror over here, the light come here and go to this place. Or we put tertiary mirror over here, we, the light light reflect here and go to this place. So we use two Nasmith foci. And in the virtual tour, we call this Cassegrain focus floor, first floor, and Nasmith focus floor, second floor. And this is the, we call this uh, HSC or second area, top unit. And we have top unit floor above fourth floor. So that we, in, inside of spiral telescope dome, we have first, second, third and floor, and above fourth floor. Okay, so let's explore inside of the telescope dome. So this is our website, and please go to the telescope official website, and at, at the bottom we have many banner links. And please go to the telescope 3D virtual tour. Okay, once I finish my slideshow,
very strange. We are now climbing up the stairs. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay. So you see some hot circle. This is a point we built. We put the uh, camera and the film 360 degrees and walk about 1.5 meter and place the camera again and the film. That's why uh, we, we repeat it. Okay, it looks very slowly and yeah, very unfortunately. But it's okay. Thank you so much for the patience. <coughs> is mounted from the telescope. Now the secondary mirror is mounted and the HSC wide field of view camera is waiting in this room. And sometimes we see this camera map. So we have some link to movie or website. So when you're exploring the inside of the door, you can also enjoy some videos and websites. Okay, so let's go back to the floor plan. So now, this is the floor plan of the fourth floor. And this is, our telescope is over here. And now, HEC is waiting of, uh, in this room. Let's go to this hallway. Show you. 
you this room with HSC, Python Sparkle. Now we are here and we look the Sparkle Desktop over here. And I want to move this room too. Are we going to get to see some of the pictures uh -huh. of outer space that the telescope has taken? So, sorry, we say again. He wants to know if uh, later in the presentation you're going to show pictures of what the telescope has oh, seen. Okay. All right. Today, my main topic is a broker tour. So, instead, uh, uh, today I did not include some pictures, but um, I have some brochures and stickers, and also we have my uh, website. In fact, uh, so please visit our website and uh, see some pictures. We have a gallery page. Did I answer your question? Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, and uh, I want to show you this left floor, fourth floor. This one. So this one is now called PFS, Prime Focus Spectrogram. Now, this, this is now we are developing, and inside of this room, uh, spectro, spectrogram is uh, waiting. So I finish the virtual tour here, I'm so sorry, and thank you for your patience. Very unfortunately, uh, uh, my temperature is not so good. So, uh, the end of the uh, virtual tour, I show you the spectrograph group of prime focus spectrogram. So this is our near future new uh, instrument. So if a uh, prime focus spectrograph allows us to take spectra uh, up to 2,394 spectra at one time simultaneously, our current instrument also has multiple spectrograph, but a large, large, object, large object spectrograph, but the number of spectra is all, all, only around 50. But when PFS starts working, we can take around 2,400 spectra simultaneously. And also we have very wide range wavelengths. So this PFS, um, achieved the first engineering first light last year and we are planning to start science operation in next year. So um, this is uh, that's all from about the uh, virtual tour and I like to uh, we, I, I have 10 more minutes so I like to introduce other fun digital content related to the solar telescope. The first one is HSC map and Galaxy Cruise, our still science project. So, uh, as I explained, HSC has very wide, ultra wide field of view camera, and using HSC, we took the uh, extensive picture of celestial bodies from 2014 to 2021 using solar telescopes 330 nights. Some, uh, we released this image partially to the public, so anybody can explore the celestial bodies captured with solar telescope. I will show you the HSC map. Uh, area 
HSC images are hiding. Using the put the cursor and use your trackpad or mouse. Let's zoom into the this area. So you see many spots. These spots are most mostly galaxy. When you go deeper and deeper, more and more of okay, more and more teeny tiny dots emerge. One single dot corresponds to one single galaxy. Taken with taken by external telescope with HSC hypersphere map, and we also have this loop map. This loop map and just select recommended objects. For example, it's very slow. Sorry, <laughs> I want to show the Andromeda galaxy again. <laughs> it doesn't come out. Maybe today, today, uh, yeah, Wi Fi. <laughs> so, yeah, so please uh, visit HSC website and you can explore many galaxies. We have many recommendations. So, enjoy, explore the beautiful picture captured with HSC. And also, our website, Galaxy Cruise. So, uh, inside of the extended HSC images, many, many galaxies are captured. And some galaxies change their shape due to mutual gravitation of other galaxies. We call this galaxy interrupting galaxies. And interrupting inter galaxies may be a key to understand how galaxies were formed and evolved. That's why, but we, uh, we, we could not, we, we, we cannot classify all galaxies captured with SWAR. That's why I, we will ask you to help classify many, many galaxies. But you may be afraid of, uh, you, 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 you may not know what shape of the galaxy and what is an interacting galaxy. But no worry, we have. Uh, training me. So, <laughs> so this is very easy. So three steps of training menu. At first, you can learn the very simple uh, shape of galaxy, elliptical galaxy and square galaxy. After you learn, I have a test for you. <laughs> Actually, this is for you. Actually, uh, each training has five questions, so you can learn the shape of galaxies and where you finish. The first training, you can go to the lesson two, the intermediate class. <laughs> and now you can learn what is an interrupting galaxy. And then I have five more tests for you. <laughs> you can learn what are interrupting, interrupting galaxies. And then you can go to the most difficult lesson, advanced lesson, lesson three. And now you will learn the Features, features of interactive galaxies. Actually, so we have four main features: green, shell, and tail, and distortion. Sorry for that. Okay, distortion. And then you have five more quizzes. <laughs> and then when you finish training, you can register as a student astronomer and explore <laughs> the uh, cosmic ocean with galaxy crew. So please visit our. Uh, Galaxy Priest website. And the last one, another one is, uh, another fun contest is, Spar Asahi Star, oh, not this one. Another contest is Spar Asahi Star Camera. I'm almost done. So, uh, so in collaboration with Asahi Shimbu, this is a big news com newspaper company in Japan, Probably, uh, collaborating with Asahi Shimbu company, we installed a uh, it monitors 24 hours a day, seven days a week on Mount Napier. So we mounted this camera and we have live streaming 
24 hours a day, seven days a week. So please visit our website and click this Mahatya Live Skype camera. So, and, uh, there are many, fortunately, we have many this camera can, and many people watching day and night, and they uh, they discover some interesting thing, some including some videos and this journey. Some of them discover this weird blue spiral. Actually, this one is related to SpaceX new satellite launch. And when I tweeted this one, we received many, many media contacts. And also, end of January, now we received, uh, we captured this green laser, and we found this laser is from a Chinese atmospheric environment monitoring satellite. And we put a tweet, and we received many, many media contacts again. That's why we are very busy in January and February. <laughs> but please enjoy watching the uh, Mamnatia Sky Camera. So, today I introduced uh, many fun stuff. Uh, about uh, tour of the telescope, but the tour of Celestial Book uh, Universe, and also Star of the Sky Camera. And I didn't introduce, but we have another one, Star Kids. So we renew the contents. So please enjoy uh, many fun stuff. Anywhere, from anywhere and any time. Thank you so much. All right, I think we've got some time for questions. Um, we want to go ahead and uh, let Dr. Kamiko answer questions. I know the folks at the camera have some questions as well that are streaming in. Um, I know some of you have heard that on the island, the subject of telescopes can be controversial. We're not doing that tonight. <laughs> tonight is about cultures coming together to learn from one another, and that's what we do here. So um, not only does the volcano bring people together, but obviously astronomy brings people together. Are you ready to take some questions? All right. And we have two questions from online viewers. One is, where did the telescope get its name? Obviously, Subaru and Asahi 
our two big brand names in Japan. Is it just the sponsor's name, or where did the name come from for the telescope? Oh, okay, thank you so much. Actually, uh, actually uh, our telescope is Subaru. Subaru is not related to car company. Uh, Subaru is a uh, cluster, star cluster's name. Uh, you, you do you know Prearis? Prearis in Taurus. So its, name, it's Hawaiian name is Makari. So the Subaru is the Japanese name of Makari, Prearis. And uh, so the many Japanese people love Subaru, Makari. And actually, about 1,000 years ago, uh, one, uh, one noble people uh, write the essay. The Subaru is the best star, star cluster, Hoshiwa Subaru. So uh, many uh, Japanese people love Subaru, Subaru, Makari. That's why, and uh, actually, our name, uh, uh, so, we, we call for names for Japanese taxpayers, and we receive many, many candidates, and we select all the Swarov's best. So, it's up to Japanese uh, people, the uh, suggestion, we selected Swarov as our Facebook name. And uh, actually, the uh, camera, 24 hours camera, live, live stream camera, at first, uh, one Swarov scientist found uh, Asahi Tsubu company installed the live streaming camera in other places in Japan. And he, uh, our astronomer, contacted Asahi Shimbu, Asahi, Kamp Asahi Shimbu company, and uh, we started collaboration. So, uh, it's a very good episode that collaboration. They wanted to install the camera on Mount Akira and uh, we want to collaborate with Asa Shimbu and yeah, we installed this live streaming camera. Did I answer your question? Perfectly, thank you. Thank you so much. Did you do your second one? Okay, so. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Subaru uh, is the Pleiades and we call it the seven sisters. Yes. But on the Subaru car, there's only six stars. Good question. <laughs> Good question. Hey, you, you know Japanese culture very well. <laughs> Yes, yes, the fear is fear Makali. And seven sisters in Western country, they say seven sisters. Mm -hmm. But in Japanese, we call Mutsuraboshi. Mutsuraboshi the six stars. That's why uh, Subaru car has six stars. Mm -hmm. And I think it's related to some uh, the factory um, uh, yeah, car company. Yeah, so yeah, so the different difference, the seven sisters, in Western country and Mitsuraboshi, five or uh, six stars in Japan. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> yes. How do you guys choose what stars and celestial bodies you guys look at? Like, do you guys specifically look at the Angelot or the Orion Belt? Or how do you um, select which one you want to study? Thank you so much. It's up to, uh, totally up to astronomers' goals. So there are many astronomers uh, wanting to use telescope for their research. So we, uh, twice a year, we call for proposals. So many astronaut researchers write proposals. I want to know something, something to know this, this goal. I want to observe this object. And we know this, we, we want to use this instrument. We know how many hours. So. We write proposal, and if proposal is accepted, astronauts can use our telescope. Mm -hmm. So it's totally, totally up to the researchers' goals. Okay. Thank you so, so much for asking. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. So, <clears throat> if with 50 spectra in the uh, camera that you're using now, mm -hmm. what else do you guys expect to see when you multiply that? Um, for, for example, 
up is the, uh, this is a right ascension degradation. This is a kind of uh, uh, longitude and latitude of the sky. So it is easy to identify, but the depth is not so easy. We need distance to assess your bodies. So if we can, and when we want to know the accurate, precise distance, we need to get a spectrum. So if we can get spectra, only five spectra, uh, spectrum of five special bodies, one time 50 special uh, bodies. If we get two, uh, 2,000, we can set time, time. That's why when we can draw a map, so, uh, yeah, so I, I, I want to repeat, so the deep right ascension and depletion, oh, this is a kind of long structure, not so difficult, but when we measure the depth, distance from Earth to sensor bodies, we need to get a spectra. That's why and we need to draw a map, very precise map of the universe. That's why we need March of uh, PFS, Prime Focus Spectrum. Thank you so much for asking. Excellent question. Good. One more in the back. Okay. Is the, from another online viewer, is the telescope on Mauna Kea available for visitors at any time, or is it closed to the public exclusively for Japanese personnel, person, solely, I guess? Thank you so much. Actually, Solar Telescope provided a public guided tour for a long time. Solar Telescope was the only one telescope on Mauna Kea, uh, which provided a guided tour, but very unfortunately, uh, around since 2019 or something, we could not uh, provide, and we finished the guided tour. So no more guided tour on Mauna Kea inside of the dome. We are so sorry. Uh, that's why we created the virtual tour, and we our telescope is more uh, open to anybody all over the world if you have Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, yeah, so, sorry, we don't, we can't, we don't provide it, we provide a public tour anymore. Sorry. Thank you. Thanks for asking the question. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Doctor. So next, after dark in the park is April 25th. Uh, some of you know Hawaii has a native hawk. It used to be found on all the islands. Today, it's only found on the island of Hawaii. Biologist Christina Paxton will be here. And she's been doing a cool tracking study with these birds to let us know where they go on the island. Anyway, we're lucky to have her. It'll be April 25th right here at the Kilauea Visitor Center. Mahalo. Have a wonderful evening. that about wraps us up for another episode of After Dark in the Park. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you all. Thank you to uh, Volcanoes National Park, uh, Hawaii here, for letting us stream this. In collaboration with Hawaii Tracker, Hawaii Pod, Dane DuPont is behind the scenes there. Philip Ong is out there. We're Lou and Anna, two pineapples. Hope you join us again for the next one. You just heard that's the Hawk presentation. Mm -hmm. We'll definitely we'll be, be here. here for that. Mm -hmm. And if yeah. anything else comes up or we have an eruption, we will be on the hill. You know us. Thanks again, everybody. Aloha. <laughs> have a good night. Aloha. Yeah.